everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I'm going to talk about my 36 week of pregnancy. Today I am 37 weeks and one day pregnant. Um, so let's just get into it. First of all, my husband and I were going to film this video kind of together today. Kind of like a spur of the moment kind of thing, but when I went to go film it with him, my camera ended up dying. So all we got basically was a belly shot, which I'll show you now. This is my 37 week. We gotta show it very quickly before my camera dies. Oh. How does that look, right? Oh, huge. <laughs> huge. Basically, like two little clips, like nothing too significant. We're gonna talk about pregnancy. Joy. <laughs> Plan now. I keep saying my husband and I are gonna film a video, and when we go to sit down and do it, then just didn't work out. <laughs> but the plan now, fully charged camera, this Sunday, husband and I, I have a few questions that um, have been asked previously that um, people wanted to answer by my husband and I. So if you have any extra additional questions, post them below and I might add them to my list of questions to answer on Sunday. So hopefully that gets taken care of. But yeah, we tried and it was unsuccessful because uh, I didn't think it through too in depth. Uh, plus I didn't have the questions with me. So um, during my 36 week of pregnancy, I had a doctor's appointment. Um, now they're weekly, as I mentioned before. Last doctor's appointment, I mentioned that um, that when the the doctor went and she felt she felt um, my cervix because um, she had done the test for strep B, which I was negative for. Um, but when she went to to check my cervix, um, she thought the baby was maybe butt down, which I thought that maybe the baby had switched, like moved because I felt this like really strong pressure. Well, this week I had to go in for an ultrasound then just to check the baby's positioning. He is now head down. So that was a really quick like ultrasound. She's like, okay, he's head down. We're good. Um, and then um, I just had a regular doctor's appointment weekly. Uh, pee in a cup. That's always normal. Um, <laughs> I get weighed. I think I'm up another pound. Although I do feel like I look a lot more swollen this week. I think I'm getting progressively more swollen um, as the time goes on. But I think that's just <laughs> the reality of it. My mom told me that during her pregnancy um, with me, her last two weeks she was like extremely swollen. So she had to actually like leave work two weeks early or two weeks before her due date, but then she didn't have me until two weeks after her due date. So um, I'm doing pretty good in the swollen uh, category, but yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just getting a little bit swollen now. Um, what else? Oh, and then I go and get my blood pressure. My blood pressure was actually up this previous week. It was 128 over 70. And usually my blood pressure is 117, but I'm like, wow, that's up like quite a significant amount. And I asked the nurse and she said, oh, it's not a really big deal. It's still within the completely normal range. Um, you, it could just be different because of just a, a variety of things, but it's not like, wasn't crazy. So my blood pressure was up. Baby's heart rate was 140, but always between 140 and 150, so somewhere between there. And um, they didn't measure the fundal height this past week. And I didn't really think about it until after I left. And then I started like researching fundal height online. Um, and after you get to a certain point, uh, it's really not accurate anymore. It can be off by like four centimeters or something. I actually measured my own fundal height, which I don't know how accurate that was, but it was right at the 36 mark. Um, but she didn't measure my fundal height, so um, I don't know if she forgot or I just don't know that they do it anymore at this point. Um, this appointment, I didn't have my cervix checked again or anything like that, um, but that was it. Normal appointment, back in a week, <laughs> that kind of deal. Um, then. The next day I actually made a doctor's appointment for the dermatologist because um, I mentioned before that I 
This mold grew out of nowhere during pregnancy. You can kind of see it right there. Grew out of nowhere. And um, so I had it removed. And then it just decided to come back. Well, I went to go get it removed again before, um, or at least have it checked, you know. And they, I didn't get my doctor. I got, like, the nurse. And I don't know if she's accurate or not. It looks to me like it's the mole grown back, but she said she thinks it's scar tissue. And she could inject it, but... Um, best to wait to inject anything like that into the body until after the baby's born and after nursing. So I'm going to leave it alone um, until um, after I've given birth and then I'm going to make sure I get an appointment in with my doctor so he can check it out uh, just because I would like to have it removed. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's just gross. It's all like, it really is cosmetic purposes, but it's gross. Um, I did actually this past week uh, like I guess for the, I noticed like maybe a week or two ago also that I had these like little like hang tags on my eye, like right in the crease of my eyelid. And so I had two of them. And so I asked her about that and she actually kind of burned them off. So, um, <laughs> those are gone, but I had like a little hang tag kind of things right, right here and right here. And so she burned those off, which was completely cosmetic too, but <laughs> They were like, it just was like kind of gross, like right in the middle of my eye. Um, and it didn't hurt or anything, so, oh well. Um, so yeah, I went to the dermatologist, checked that stuff out. Um, then, um, as far as symptoms this week, I have had some Braxton Hicks contractions, which are basically not painful contractions, it's just for me, they are tightening of my belly. And so I just get this tightness across my belly. And I mentioned it to my doctor. It's not a big deal, but um, I just, it's just your body's preparing for uh, labor. So I'm getting that far along. The body's preparing for labor. So I'm getting tightness, um, which gets a little uncomfortable. So I end up having to uh, sit down a lot more. <laughs> I hate sitting. So it's just, it's annoying, but I have to end up sitting for a lot longer throughout the day. Like I have to just sit and just take breaks throughout the day, which I've mentioned before, but I just hate it. Um, and then at the end of the night, um, I end up getting in the bathtub because it seems to just be kind of like uncomfortable and it makes it just a lot better. So, um, yeah, Braxton Hicks contractions. I've also had this sharp shooting pain up in my vagina, um, which is also just, uh, I, it's just something that is, happens with pregnancy. It's not like I'm, it's not, they're sporadic, so it's not like they're coming, uh, time and time again, but nothing to worry about there. It's just the process. Um, during the night, I wake up probably at least five times now. I don't know if I mentioned that last week or not, but I wake up like five times now to go to the restroom. And, um, yeah, I just, and, and then when I'm walking throughout the day, a lot of times it feels like I have to use the restroom. And it's, I really don't, not every time I go to the back restroom, it doesn't feel like I have to pee that much, but sometimes I pee just a little bit, but it's like, I, if, however he's positioned now, um, where he's like engaging, <laughs> um, I, I have to use the restroom a lot more now. Um, so that's interesting. It just feels like I have to pee all the time, except when I'm sitting down, then I'm okay. But, um, when I'm walking around and doing stuff, uh, it kind of feels like I have to pee all the time seems like the baby's gotten a lot more hiccups lately too, or I'm actually feeling them right now. That's why I mentioned it, but he has hiccups right now where it just feels like doot, 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 doot. Um, yeah. Um, my belly, uh, if, every time I feel my belly, I still feel him, um, move around in there somewhat. Um, th I think there are a lot more bigger movements because he's like, he's in there. <laughs> he's definitely in there. Um, so I see like, when I get in the bathtub especially, I'll see like the baby like move up like it seems like that much, like an inch or so. So it's just kind of crazy. Um, I think that's about it for like symptoms and whatnot. I'm going to show you some of my purchases this week. Oh, I mentioned that I ordered this stuff from this company called Boob. Um, so just an FYI, if you're, I love the tank tops so much that I got from this company. And, um, the nursing bras are really nice too, but because I ordered out of the country, I have to pay $50 in custom charges for my first order. And I actually ordered a second order, so I'm like, oh shoot, I'm going to have to pay another customs charge, which, um, 
I never have had to pay customs for anything before, but I got like a bill in the mail from UPS and I'm like, oh, I have to pay a customs charge. So um, that sucks. It really sucks. So basically, I don't know how much I spent, but I have to pay $50 to customs, which that sucks. So anywho, um, then I'm going to show you some purchases I made at Target for the baby. Basically, I decided I didn't have, like, enough socks for him, so I went in to see what kind of socks they had. I got a pair of basic little gray socks, which are only a dollar. I got these cute little striped navy white green socks, only a dollar. And then I saw this. I'm not really, like, a big fan of these, like, hats with the ears, but they are kind of cute. Um, but I really bought these for <laughs> this little set, which has two little hats, um, one mint green one and one gray striped one with little ears, like the bare ears. But I got them for the socks that it comes with. So one, another pair of gray socks, and then I really like the mint green um, little striped socks. So I got those. And then I purchased for the baby um, these just little basic little pants in the three month size. Um, I don't know at this point how big my baby is. I don't know. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> so I don't want to buy anything, you know, too small because you never know so um, I bought two little pairs of pants which I think that I'll end up bringing maybe a pair of these like maybe this like little gray one with me to the hospital because this is like basically zero to three months I have newborn outfits set aside for the hospital um, and then I'm just gonna bring this and then like base a uh, basic like white onesie and a pair of socks and that'll be good um, but I'll show you all my hospital bag um, very soon. I haven't finished packing it, which I should because I'm this far along, um, but I haven't finished packing it yet. It's crazy how far along I am, and it scares me uh, because I'm just, I'm like, oh, I don't have that much more time. Can you just stay in there a little bit? And my friends, um, they keep telling me, <laughs> like both of them, I think you're going to have the baby soon. I think you're going to have the baby. I think you're going to go early because both of them had their babies at 38 weeks, and I'm just like, I think I'm gonna be late. I honestly think I'm gonna be late, but who knows? So, um, yeah, so I need to pack my hospital bag. I'm gonna do a hospital bag video, uh, been requested, and I'm going to, I think, after after we have the baby, I am going to do a, uh, like, a hospital bag kind of video, but talk about things maybe um, I wish I had brought with me or things that I were kind of stupid to bring with me. Um, so, yeah, um, one of the things I'm going to bring with me is a mirror, <laughs> just this FYI, um, yeah, oh, and then just some other things that I purchased, I bought these little socks, these ones are really cute, the company's called Born to Love, my husband really liked these ones, I showed them these ones, and he's like, he's, you know we're having a boy, right, but I still think that these are super cute little socks for a little boy, like, I think that our little son will look really cute with these little leopard socks. I love leopard print, so I don't know. I thought they were boyish. My husband like looked at me like I was completely crazy when I showed them the these, but I think they're completely adorable. Um, what else? What else? Um, if you have any questions, post them below. Um, I, I really I, I wanted to film that. I can't think because I keep feeling this hiccuping in my in my belly. <laughs> it's like at the very bottom above, you know. Um, I keep feeling this very low hiccuping in my belly, it's, so it's like it's kind of neat. Um, but I'm I'm hoping the baby just you know stays in there. Best thing about 30, 36 week completion is that um, now once you get past the thirty six week full term. Um, full term means that now that the, if the baby is born, he will no longer be premature. He'll just be born early. Um, and I think that's super exciting. So, um, from here on, he's just gaining weight. I picture this being in my belly right now, but I'd have to like squish him up and figure it out. But he's so cute. That's why I decided three month pants. You never know. Um, although everyone I've ever talked to, um, except people on the internet, um, but everyone I've ever talked to, even people that have had like nine pound babies have still worn newborn clothes. Um, a friend of mine didn't even realize that there were newborn clothes for babies. Um, that she thought they started at zero uh, to three months and her babies were like six pound babies so she, they were like swimming in the clothes. Um, 
But yeah, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, post them below. Um, if you have questions for my husband and I, post them below. And I will see you all very soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What cute.